So I found another way to save a lot of time printing using Cura. I have been printing large parts recently. Uh, typically something like this. This part doesn't need a lot of infill. Of course we do need infill to print the top here. But there are ways to limit the infill. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Here we have a big model in Cura. So this fills about the whole printer volume. And let me first just go back to like the default settings on the infill. So if we do 20% infill and we slice it, we are talking about 11 hours. Of course we can go down on the infill, uh, not too much though, since we have a horizontal uh, flat spot on the top here. So the top needs uh, some infill to be printed perfectly. Uh, maybe not this part, but if you look at like this part here, it needs infill or the top will fall down. Let us see what we can do. So one thing I have been talking about before is that using gradual infill steps. So we can step down the infill, let's say uh, two times. Let's first do two times and slice it. So remember we had 11 hours. Now we have six hours. So that's five hours of the print just using step downs. What happens is we have 20% infill on the top, like you see here, which gives us a good top layer. If we go further down, we can see what happens. So one and a half millimeter down, we step down to 10% infill. And then one and a half millimeter more, we step down to 5% infill. So now it is 5% all the way down. We could even go further we can maybe step down three times remember we was at six hours now we are at 521 now we're stepping down three times on the infill from 20 percent to 10 percent to five percent to two and a half percent so this would be a good option but there are some things going on here uh, i'm not sure what is happening on the walls here but this takes a lot of time to do these uh, strange uh, yellow uh, lines on the wall. I don't know why they are there, but we can get rid of them and we can save even more time. To be able to do that, we can actually do something called infill support. Search for infill support in the settings and check that slice it. Now, let's see what happens. So we had five hours. 21 minutes now we saved even two hours more remember we started at 11 hours now we are at three hours so this is just uh, awesome this uh, print sh uh, doesn't need to be structurally safe because it's just a mock-up so what happens now is that we only have infill where we have roofs and actually we could go back to let's say two step downs three hours 30 minutes, I think that is. So let's have a look at it and see what's going on here. So from the top, I have four top layers at 0.3. We had 20% here at the top. Going down, stepping down to 10%, still uh, looks good. And then stepping down to 5%. But we only have infill where there is a roof. It does not extend to the walls. And we got rid of all the strange uh, lines uh, on the wall which we had before let's uncheck infill support and uh, do another slice that's six hour 13 minutes and again we have the strange lines on the wall and check the infill support and we have three hours 30 minutes so that's even two and a half hour more of the print time i wish i knew this before because it would save me a lot of time on these models now we can save material we can save time and have uh, the model we want i just wanted to share this great tip for saving print time saving material and still have a good result so i hope you enjoy please subscribe like and share and i'll see you guys soon